Lady yields back. Yield to the lady from Arizona, Ms. Lesko, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Chu, do you agree that the Chinese government has persecuted the Uyghur population? Congresswoman, you, if you use our app and you open it, you will find our users who that's give not, all sorts of content. That's not my question. My question is, do you agree that the Chinese government has persecuted the Uyghur population? Well, it's deeply concerning to hear about all accounts of human rights abuse. My role here is to explain what our platform does evasive. on this. It's a pretty easy question. Do you agree that the Chinese government has persecuted the Uyghur population? Congresswoman, I'm here to describe TikTok and what we do as a platform. And as All a right. platform, we allow our users to freely express All their views right. on this issue Earlier and any today, other issue that matters to them. Well, you didn't answer the question. Earlier today, Chairman Rogers asked you, and I quote, have any moderation tools been used to remove content associated with the Uyghur genocide, yes or no? Your answer, we do not remove that kind of content. Yet, in 2019, TikTok suspended the account of Feroza Aziz, an American 17-year-old, after she put out a video about the Uyghur genocide. So your answer, sir, does not align with history. That particular I, case was a mismoderation. I believe I, that video had a picture of Osama bin Laden. So no, we thought it was content no, that was inappropriate. I, yeah, I looked it up. That was a different post that they banned. TikTok I can't get back banned. on the specifics, yes. Uh, my next question. India banned the use of TikTok in their country in 2020. New Zealand has banned the installation of TikTok on devices connected to the country's parliamentary network. Canada banned the installation of TikTok on government devices. The United Kingdom has banned the TikTok app from government-owned devices. Belgium banned the TikTok from government phones. The European Union banned the installation of TikTok on government devices. All cited security risks with the company's data collection and connection to the Chinese Communist Party. Recently, our U.S. FBI Director Christopher Wray said about TikTok, quote, this is a tool that is ultimately within the control of the Chinese government, and it, to me, it screams out with national security concerns. Mr. Chu, how can all of these countries and our own FBI director have been wrong? I think a lot of risks that are pointed out are hypothetical and theoretical risks. Um, I have not seen any evidence. I'm, you know, eagerly wait, awaiting discussions where we can talk about evidence and we then can address the concerns that are being raised. Yes, my next question revolves around an article. India banned TikTok in 2020. A March 21st Forbes article revealed how troves of personal data of Indian citizens who once used TikTok remain widely accessible to employees at the company and its Beijing based parent ByteDance. A current TikTok employee told Forbes that nearly anyone with basic access to company tools, including employees in China, can easily look up the closest contacts and other sensitive information about any user. This tic current TikTok employee also said, quote, if you want to start a movement, if you want to divide people, if you want to do any of the operation to influence the public on the app, you can just use that information to target those groups. Why would a, Mr. Chu, why would a current TikTok employee say this if it wasn't true? This is a recent article. I have asked my team to look into it. As far as I know, there is, we have rigorous uh, data access protocols. There's really no such thing where anybody can get access to tools. All right. So I disagree with a lot of the conclusions Ma of that. Madam Chair, I request unanimous consent that the Forbes March 21st, 2023 article be added to the record. Without objection. And I have, um, would like to turn over the rest of my time to Mr. Abernolte. Uh, uh, thank you, Madam Chair. 